Hello and welcome to the second video tutorial for Pixel Magic, the image editing app for the Apple iPad. Today's tutorial is entitled Ferraris are supposed to be red. And we're going to show you how to change the color of an object. What you can see here, the image I've loaded is uh, this very, very beautiful uh, Ferrari. There's only really one problem with it, uh, it's yellow. And if you're of the school of thought that Ferraris are supposed to be only one color and that's red, well, we can help you there. I'm going to go down into the uh, Tools menu and select the Colorize brush. Adjust my size a little bit here. And select a nice red color. And now I'm just going to start painting. And uh, I'll speed up time a little bit so you don't have to watch me paint for a long time. But as you can see, this tool, as I uh, paint over the car, only changes the color. Uh, it leaves the saturation and the lightness alone, so all of the highlights and shadows uh, stay intact, and I'm just basically changing the U of the areas I paint over. I'm going to make this brush a little smaller for uh, some of the detail work. I want to be sure to not paint into uh, some of the areas that are blue or bluish to change the color of those too much. So uh, with a smaller brush I'm just going in and uh, filling in some of the details. You're also noticing that uh, sometimes when I make a mistake uh, I press the undo arrow down there which undoes the last brush stroke uh, which comes in really handy when you're doing a lot of painting work like this. But you can also see that uh, the areas that don't have much saturation to them, like the, uh, the gray of the rims and the, uh, the black areas, I can just paint over. I don't really have to worry too much about being too precise there. All right, now that's looking pretty good. I think I want to make this color a little more saturated because it's uh, a little too far into the pink for my taste over there on the right. So I'm going to go back into the uh, use saturation value filter and just increase the saturation a little bit. That's nice. There we go. So now uh, what I also want to do is kind of simulate this car actually moving, actually speeding across this, uh, this highway. So I'm going to uh, go back into the Tools menu and go down and choose the smudge brush. Make the brush a little bit bigger. And now I can just start dragging, tapping and dragging from one area into another. And as you can see, that kind of smudges out the, uh, the colors. But as I go down here and uh, I keep dragging and smudging, you can see there's something wrong. Something's not working the way I'm intending it to, because I'm getting a lot of deformation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just undo that so we don't get the wheel all messed up. I just want to keep that first brush stroke up there, like that. And now I'm just going to uh, turn down the opacity to roughly half. And now I can uh, smudge, and I still get the, uh, the colors being being uh, drug out and, and, and smudged, but I don't get as much of the uh, of the distortion anymore. So that's that's pretty good. So I'm going to speed up time again. And there we go. Now I just want to make the wheels look like they're spinning as well. I'm just going to use the same smudge tool and kind of go in circles around here. And you can tell we are getting a little bit of, uh, of distortion there from the smudging. But uh, I think I can live with that because I really just want to make it look like the wheels are moving. And do the same with the uh, rear wheel here. A little more in the front right there. And there we go. We have made a uh, yellow stationary Ferrari into a nice red moving Ferrari. And the best thing 
it even drives itself. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this second video tutorial for Pixel Magic.